So I grew up in District 2, born and raised. I grew up on the east side of Fayetteville, which is where um, all of my family grew up, and we all went to Cape Fear High School, and we're all graduates of Cape Fear High School. First childhood job would be working with my grandparents in their store that they had at the Bragg Boulevard Flea Market. They sold oils and incense and smelled good perfumes and colognes and stuff like that. First adult job I had was working as a nursing assistant in the medical field. What is my favorite thing about Fayetteville? Fayetteville is a technically supposed to be a small city, but we're very big in our mindset as a city. And the best thing I like is that we're moving forward and we're trying to do everything that we can to move forward and move our city into the right direction. It's trust the process because in life and through, even through the terminal council, you go through processes and sometimes the process is not as fast as you want it to be, but you just have to trust that the process is going to be in goal with a very good result at the end of it. So just trust the process. My favorite sports team would have to be and will only be the Carolina Panthers. Um, and that's because I'm a huge Carolina Panthers fan and I love to uh, go to the football games. They're very exciting. What individual has been a great inspiration in my life? I would say my mother. My mother showed me how, what work ethics mean and working, working as a single mother to provide for both of her two sons, young boys. And so my mother, she's always had a hustle, always moving, always working. And sometimes people don't always have to see that you're working, but when you work in silence, sometimes that speaks more than just telling everybody what you're doing. Most of my time is spent with family. Um, me and my brother have a very strong relationship and I can just get on the phone and with him and my mother and we just have a good time. But my favorite food would have to be soul food and that's because I grew up with that environment of having good soul food. So, but my favorite soul food item would have to probably be mac and cheese, but it has to be cooked properly. <laughs> Shout out to my mom, cause she's the one that cooks it the best, so. I feel like I'm unique because of the way I um, view things. I think I view things from a standpoint of uh, how can I make this better in every situation that I'm in? Or how can I be an asset to this area, to this department, to this field, or to this city? Interesting about me that people may should know, I like, I like music. I like music, I like to sing. So if I had to listen to one genre of music, it'd have to be gospel because I need inspiration. We go as a council member, as a person, as a human being, we go through a lot of changes and you have to have some sort of outlet. And so gospel is my outlet music that I listen to to get inspired. My favorite movie is Drumline um, with Nick Cannon in it. And so, I, 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 like I said, I like music. So Drumline is one of my favorite movies. What led me want to serve is, I've always had a heart to serve. I've been serving as I was a child. My grandparents were Muslim, and so um, I would go with them to feed the homeless at the Salvation Army because the Muslim community had a homeless day that they fed the homeless at the Salvation Army, and so I would do that, and I would just see how me serving a drink to them made their day. Um, and so from that, when I was about probably six years old, um, I, was, I always knew I wanted to give because I knew that I knew how when I gave from my heart how it made other people feel. And so with that, I just continued to serve in different avenues. And then what wanted me to serve as a council member or serve in my city is the fact that I had, I know that I had a voice that I could use for my district. There was a time when I grew up that I didn't feel like I had a voice. Went through some things and I realized that I did have a voice. And not only did I have a voice, but my voice made impact and it has impact in it. And so if I can use it for myself to advocate for myself, why can't I advocate for a whole community? The best advice that I have ever received was to lead without apology. Sometimes as a leader, you won't always please everybody. But when you know you made the right decision, you just have to lead and lead without apology.